Okay, so we're going to finish off by looking at the universal set. So, what is the universal set? Well, it's it's basically just everything that isn't in the other two sets that we're looking at. So, how we show this is, say if we have two sets, uh, let's call them A and B, and I'm just going to throw in some random numbers. Um, one, two, three, maybe five and six in here, and seven, eight, nine, okay. Imagine that we have an extra square outside here. This is called the universe, and we, we call it a U. Um, and we've got 1, 2, 3, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So say this was actually meant to be all the numbers 1 to 10. Well, then 4 and 10 would be outside here. So the universe is just the outside of a and B is just an extra area. So that's pretty much all you have to know. You have to know that it's a U and that it's a rectangle outside the other two. We're going to use this information to uh, tackle a question uh, using all of this info. So we have a question that says we have 50 students. That's our first bit of information. And 31 have a laptop. Twenty two have a PC and six have both. Okay? And what we need to do is put these on a Venn diagram. That's our first job. So we know that we have fifty students in total, so the total thing is always the universe. So the cardinal number of the universe is fifty. So we know that there are fifty students in total. So in this whole area, in this whole thing up here, it's going to be 50. 31 of a laptop, 22 of a PC, and 6 have both. Okay, so we're going to call our two sets that we have inside um, laptop and PC. So the number of laptop owners is 31, and the number of PC is 22. And then this have both thing is, if you remember from the last uh, little video, it's the intersection. So the intersection of laptop and PC. So that is laptop, laptop intersection PC is equal to six, that's the number of them. Okay. So now let's try and put together a Venn diagram using that information. So, I'm going to draw a big square, or a big rectangle even. And this rectangle is all of our stuff. We have two circles. One is called laptop, and one is called PC. So the easiest thing to fill in first is what's in the middle. Laptop and PC is six, okay? Now, this is where you have to be really, really careful. We have that laptop is equal to 31, but laptop and PC is six. So in total, it's 31 in this whole thing. But it's actually going to be 31 minus 6. So 25. Because if we add 25 and 6, we're going to get 31, which is the total amount of laptop owners. So just to run that over again, the amount of people who have both a laptop and PC is 6. But the amount of people who have a laptop is 31. So we have to take 25, or 31 minus the 6 and we get 25. We'll do it for the other side as well. And um, PC owners, there's 6 already in, and we have 22 in total. So we need to take that away. So that's going to be 16. Okay. And are we done there? That's the question. What's the one thing I've forgotten about? Well, that's the universe. And there's meant to be 50 in total. So let's just take these numbers and add them up. So we've got 25, 16, and 6. Okay, that is going to be, if I'm correct, 17, 47. Let's check my maths. Yeah, I think I'm right on that. So that's 47 if we add all these people together. But what did we know at the start? We said we have 50 students in total. So if there's 50 students and 47 of them own 
laptops and PCs. Well, then we're missing three. So those three people go on the outside over here. So in total, always in here, you should have that this, if you add all these together, will get you to 50 because we were told we have 50 students. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. The universe is just the, the extra amount that you can't account for, that they don't apply to either of these things. They're just the extra people because not always, not everybody's always going to be inside these sets. There might be someone outside the set. So they're the outlier, outliers outside in the universe.